dark deception. Another one. How nice to have some company again. Come over here. Let's have a look at you. You disappoint me, love. You really do. So many fears. So many desires. I thought you'd be bigger. Don't look so confused. I know everything you've got hidden in that brain of yours. I know all the terrible things you've done. So many good intentions laid to waste. I could see the regret eating away at your soul. Ha! <laughs> but now your time has come and here you are. To grovel and beg. You can't go back. Only death awaits you there now. Fear not, love. You've got potential. I see it in you. And I can help change your fate. But if you want a new life, you're going to have to suffer quite a bit to get it. The pieces to a powerful ring are hidden in nightmares behind each of these portals. Find them and bring them to me, and you'll get your wish. Fail! And you'll find there are fates far worse than death awaiting you here. Clock's ticking. What a charming little hotel. Bring back any memories? Going up? Found you. 
time in I would have thought you'd have been shredded. This is now exposed, and the monsters will go into a frenzy. Get 
whisper in peace before Mr. Monkey finds you. You're here now. You need to escape. Get to the portal. Hurry! You made it. And I see you met my friend sooner than I was expecting. Beers. Still so persistent after all this time. Do not listen to her, mortal. She's just using you. Give her the ring, and there will be consequences. This is your only warning. Help her, and you will suffer. Pay no attention to him. His powers cannot reach you here. The ring piece. Place it on the table. Now! It's been so long. The ring is called the Riddle of Heaven. An ironic name, don't you think? Her demon's power is contained inside it. The creature of infinite cruelty that you just met. Malak. Complete the ring, and you can use Malak's power to fulfill your darkest desires. Or so the legend goes. Eight more pieces to go. Are you ready for another nightmare? I see you. I'm going to enjoy watching you suffer. <sighs> Malak has blocked the entrance. I don't think he likes you very much. You'll need inhuman speed to get past that barrier. Good thing I'm here to help, huh? Go to the ring altar. I can unlock the power to boost your speed for brief periods of time. Use it wisely, and don't thank me. We'll work that out later. Can't you ever miss your school days? After all, it was the last time you were innocent. Another barrier. You know what to do. Ooh, a new friend! I'm so excited! Welcome! I heard you 
might be getting a new student here soon. So I put together this little welcoming party for you. It's really nice to have someone new to play with. Don't tell the others, but they've been getting pretty boring lately. <laughs> but you'll spice things up around here, won't you? You can share everything with me. All your secrets, all your mistakes, all your pain. That's what best friends are for. Right? Looks like school is back in session. Ready or not, here I come! will always be found at the heart of each nightmare. That's all of the shards here, but it's only half. The ring barrier is still active. There must be more in another part of the school. Hurry and find the next zone.
That's the last of the shards. Now get to the ring piece before Agatha gets you. You'll never get the ring. I won't let you. Don't be such a baby. What? This is fine. Two down. 
Seven more to go. One to try for another. You'll need more than a speed boost to get across that. Fall into the pit and I think we can both guess where you'll end up. Fortunately for you, I can give you the power to jump across. No, not with those spindly legs of yours. I'm talking teleportation. Go to the ring altar. Go on, give it a try. I'll just add it to your tab. Keep your eyes open, love. The statues in this place are awful. I wonder who does the landscaping here. Impressive. <laughs> You were wondering? Yes, those footsteps are getting louder. I don't know whether to be impressed or disappointed. is clear. Get to the manor. Mm, how nostalgic. I used to have a manor like this. Much bigger. Is it terribly rude if you let yourself in unannounced? You found the altar. Now get the rest of the shards. <laughs> Bye. 
there and you're still alive. I don't know whether to be impressed or disappointed. the ring's power to create living statue. What? Wait.
before something bad finds you. to the portal. I didn't think you'd make it this far, love. I really didn't. Who knows? You might just go all the way. If you believe her, you're dumber than you look. Once she gets what she wants, you're done. Oh, yes. Trust the bloodthirsty demon. No doubt he has your best interests at heart. <sighs> Six pieces left. Ready to try again? Malak's blocked the entrance. Now that's just pathetic, don't you think? 
Never fear, love. There's a solution. You'll just need to rearrange your brain a bit. Go to the ring altar. Now hold still. You might also want to close your eyes. It keeps them from popping out. Just don't let me catch you trying to see through anything besides walls. Not afraid of a little sewer water, are you? Just don't get any of it in your mouth. You've heard the urban legends, I'm sure. All kinds of things get flushed down here. Alligators, goldfish, duckies. Oh, this is so small. Right. Oh, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little. Well, that's interesting. Come on. to blend in, eh? Let's see how well you pay attention to deep.
half the shell. Try to live long enough to get the rest. Must have been hard to find. want to take a shower after this.
out the dead this time. Cause me some trouble. I should commend you for your tenacity. Well, commendable as you may be, I'm afraid your little streak ends here. Fortunately, watching you run around obediently has reminded me that I have a loyal pet as well. Here, let me introduce you so you can both get more properly acquainted. Now you'll have to excuse me. I must take my leave. Business calls elsewhere. Oh, and Beers. I know you're there, peering through your little puppet. I'll be settling matters with you very soon. <laughs> to be so easy this time. Don't screw it up.
It vexes me greatly that you're still here, mortal. <sighs> now she has another piece of that infernal ring. Every piece Beerus gets makes her more powerful. Don't you get that, Meat Sack? What do you think is going to happen when she doesn't need you anymore? He's right. I am getting more powerful. Powerful enough to fulfill your every wish. That's why you're here, isn't it? Beers, why not tell him what fate befell the last person that trusted you? Hmm. Five more pieces to go, love. Care to try your luck again, or would you rather just stay here with me? Malak's left a monster to guard the entrance. Reeks of desperation, don't you think? You'll just have to scare it off. Stare into its eyes and convince it that you're the bigger monster. Trust me, it works. Just ask my late husband. Go to the ring altar. Those were pretty popular in my day. Such talent and showmanship. As a girl, the performers never failed to fill me with wonder. Watching them, I wanted to become a star, too. Now children just sit around and make a watch. Watch others play video games. Oh, let me guess. Poor Inviting you in. Ready for the big top? Go on, press it. You know you want to. Live a little. You actually did it. I may have underestimated how little you consider the consequences of your actions. <laughs> to be far luckier here in this world. Well, this is all a bit surreal. What an unusual nightmare. What's your connection to this place?
prone to motion sickness. I hope not, because there's plenty more of this here. What's black and white and red all over? I'd start running before you find out.
Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I've got you now, mortal. Here we are, yet again. It's not going to go quite so well for you this time. I'll finish you off here and take your soul. That said, seeing as you're so capable, let's up the ante a bit, shall we? I don't want to keep underestimating your luck. <laughs> Keep them laughing while you die, won't you? <laughs>
Impossible! Your suffering will be eternal! You're only delaying the inevitable, Beers. You can't keep me out of your little pocket dimension forever. I'm coming to collect what is owed, and I'm bringing your worst nightmares with me. You and the mortal are both going to pay with interest. You give her that ring piece, and you're going to regret it. More lies and empty threats. You expect him to trust you when you tried to kill him at every turn? Enjoy your moment. It won't last. What difference does it make? Bring the piece here, love. We're halfway there, love. Just four pieces to go. Don't disappoint me now. We need to get that soul shard to get the gate open. Naturally, it's behind those bars. Well, if Malak won't let us get to the shard, we'll have to make the orb come to us. Go to the ring altar. I just need to make a few more changes to your brain. Don't worry. If you start to feel dizzy, or you start to smell colors, just take a deep breath and wait for it to pass. If it doesn't pass, quit whining and get used to it. I'm a movie star, not a brain surgeon. all of the soul shards. The ring piece is now exposed, and the monsters will go into a frenzy. Get to the ring piece before Mr. Monkey finds you. I guess everyone has to face their demons sooner or later. Maybe this place can help you. Are you shots up to date? No problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Fierce? I see. How troublesome. We can handle that. Absolutely. Leave it to us. You don't have to worry about a thing. Well, speak of the devil. Looks like he just walked in. Ooh, and he's a looker, too. I'll get back to you shortly, okay? Bye bye now. Um. Greetings, and welcome to this place of healing and mercy. Mind if I take a closer look at you? Read. Aw, oh, you poor thing. I see that life was not kind to you. You still carry around so much of that pain. It must weigh terribly on you. Ah, and now you've chosen to serve the deal breaker. How curious. Are you not aware that she only offers lies? Lord Malak can offer you so much more. You need only to return that which you have taken from him. We'll get to that later though. For now, you did the right thing coming here to see us. You don't need to suffer anymore. We can heal your soul. We can offer the beauty that you desire. You need only be ready and willing to accept our mercy. Do you want to become one of our new patients? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you do. What a silly thing to ask. First things first, though. We need to check your vitals. The deal breaker may have infected your body and mind as well as your soul. After all, Lord Malik's infinite power was never meant for mere mortals. You've been using them quite recklessly. There may be dire consequences for your health. 
I don't know what she's talking about, but she has her head in a bag. That's kind of a red flag, isn't it? Please, follow me. See anything you like? Kind of disturbing, but I do like her shoes. Let's check your weight first, shall we? Once you are ready to begin accepting our mercy, please step up onto the scale. Are you sure you want to stand on it? What? Is something wrong? My apologies. Must be a malfunction. Don't worry, I'll put in a work order to get that fixed. I don't know, something seems a bit off about that scale. Okay, next up, we need to do a little lab work. I just need to take a small blood sample. You're not afraid of needles, are you? Okay, great. Stay right there and don't move. Wait until the timer reaches zero. I'll be right outside the door. Huh. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think you want to still be in this room when that timer reaches zero. Find a way out of here. Didn't I say not to move? So you are afraid of needles. Noted. Let me remind you that we do not have time to play games with our patients. Please take this more seriously if you wish to be saved. I think she might be trying to kill you. Big surprise. Be on guard. How about a chest x-ray? You afraid of those as well? Let's try this again. Wait right there, and this time don't move. It's your last chance. Same deal. Wait until the counter reaches zero. I'll be right outside. Where are you going? Come back here. I still have more tests to run. Sir, this is unacceptable. We will not accept unruly patients. What a shame. It seems you've been infected by that woman after all. You do not desire salvation. You're just another vile man after all. Chaotic and infectious, like a virus. Very well. We know how to deal with viruses. If eradication is your true desire, we shall grant it. It might be comforting to tell you that your death will be quick and painless, but that will be a lie. After all, we can get a bit carried away while performing our duties. However, I can promise you one thing. You'll never see it coming. They can cloak? That's going to be troublesome. So Malak's minions are not very fond of me. Shocking, I know. Ladies, the hospital is now on complete lockdown. It seems we have an unruly patient on the loose that must be dealt with. Lethal mercy is authorized. They might be invisible to the eye, but they can't be the they make. They could be anywhere. Stay alert.
See anything you like? Look out! Say goodnight! Wake up, you idiot! Oh, you careless oaf! Get up! Now! Hey there, sleepyhead! Are you awake now? Good! You snore pretty loudly, you know! Welcome to our intensive therapy unit! You're gonna be here a while, and I have to thank you for saving us the trouble of bringing you down here ourselves! You're gonna be here. Ooh, you're still a tad unruly, but our rigorous treatment package should take that fight right out of you. We need to get you prepared, ready, and wrapped with a bow for Lord Malik. I know. We'll start with some acupuncture. I mean, who doesn't like acupuncture, right? Don't worry. The process is fully automated to guarantee the most effective treatment. See?
Now you just scream for me if you need anything, okay? Toodles! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! In case you didn't know, they're trying to kill you. That was close. You need to find a way to get past her. Use your brain! You need to find a way to get past her. Use your brain! Careful, we don't actually become.
Now get out of this twisted hospital. Malak's not around. Maybe he's tomorrow. is on his way here now, mortal. However, this will be over long before he arrives. I don't know what it is that drives you to endure so much, but I can see you are lost, and you always will be. Whatever you're grasping for so desperately will always be just out of your reach. She won't be able to change that either. Regardless, Lord Malik has greater priorities to deal with than one defiant mortal soul that refuses to descend. We will win his favor by ridding him of your intolerable presence once and for all! Ah, there she is. Right on schedule. I think you'll find that she is not quite as hospitable as we are. You've eluded us, but you'll never get past her!
You are becoming quite opportunistic, mortal. How fortunate for you that I was already occupied with more pressing matters. That will not happen again. Thanks to the two of you, dangerous forces are now in motion. You are disrupting my business, and I cannot afford to allow your insolence to continue any longer. Next thing you know, he'll be pleading with you. That's because he's losing. Soon, the ring will be mine again. Three pieces left. You want a new start? A better life. I can give that to you. All that and more. Malik thinks he's being clever. Now he's got a camera watching the entrance to keep you from getting past. Does he think I'm not capable of making you invisible whenever I want? Or shrinking you to the size of a cockroach? Or turning you into a cockroach if I so desire? Well, I'll show him. Return to the ring altar. Fair warning, this might hurt a bit. Welcome to... Joy, Joy, Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this place. I'd pick up the pace if I were you. Ugh, not very magical looking, is it? More lasers, and another camera. You know what to do. Clumsy oaf. You can't even do that right. 
Lucky the Rabbit! Oh, and this is my good friend, Penny the Chicken. Hi, I'm Penny the Chicken. And we're both members of the Joy Joy Gang. What about you? Are you ready to become one of the joyful? Oh, <laughs> terrific! Seeing new visitors fills us up with so much joy. To celebrate, we're going to sing our Joy Joy song! <laughs> oh, me and Brian are boys, time to meet the Joy Joy gang who puts a smile on every party's face. Just open up your eyes and imagine you're surprised that this is everybody's happy place. <laughs> oh, me and Brian are boys, time to meet the Joy Joy gang. to our joy joy land. Feel free to run around and have a joy joy good time. <laughs> we'll be seeing you soon, buddy. Security checkpoint.
they call me lucky? Because I never lose. I hear you're pretty lucky too. Let's see how lucky you are. <laughs> Run! Aren't you popular? Remember when I said nobody liked you? Well, they can't get enough of you here. You might want to run inside now. That's pretty disturbing. The gate is securely locked, right? I think they're looking at No sudden movements. Maybe if you don't move, they can't see you. So creepy. Remember when I said I had a bad feeling about this place? Now I'm really getting a bad feeling about this place. Systems offline. Zone 3 access restricted. Please restore power in Zone 2. Some kind of control room? Everything is offline, though. Hi! I'm hungry! I'm a pig. Oh, ribs are my joy! I haven't had a meal in forever! Come closer! Is that...? Oh, are those ribs? You look delicious. You look... Would you mind if I put a little barbecue sauce on you? I got my own recipe. <laughs> Great. Now there's a pig, too. Well, at least you only have to deal with this one. I had to deal with them my entire life. Hangry's not himself when he's hungry. Kinda loses control around fresh, meaty ribs. You know what I mean? Goes a little crazy. But aren't we all a little crazy? After all, it's a mad, mad world. <laughs> that pig looks pretty powerful. It's probably a good idea not to let it get too close to you. Yes, you're not faster than you. You don't stop the rush today, do ya? 
find him. Doesn't look like Beers has your back, huh, buddy? Guys? Why is he hitting that button? Guys? Uh oh. That ain't good. I'm not really feeling the joy yet. How about you? Processing plant? Unauthorized intruder detected. Dispatching Joy Joy Gang. Processor unit stalled. Reboot breaker switch to resume crusher function.
Now that they are out of the way, find a way back up to the control room. Not so fast, mortal. Don't celebrate just yet. After all, that's not even their final form. Time for something new and improved. Salvage mode activated. Project Joy Kill is now initiated. Constructing. Joy Kill unit completed. Have a Joy Joy day. is invincible. Finish him. Don't get that thing Don't near you. Die. How are you going to get that off. thing? You need to find a way to finish you it off. Like you a lot more joy. You Look, that vat of molten steel below. You can't it run might be our only hope. Find a way to knock that <laughs> thing off. <laughs> Hey, buddy, I'm right behind you. Where you going, buddy? Fun.
Defense has been initiated. Unauthorized collection of ring piece. Two-minute security lockdown initiated. Security is en route. You're locked in! have fallen, eh, mortal? I told you this would end badly for you. No use resisting. You're going to show me everything, whether you want to or not. What horrors lie in that little brain of yours, shall we? That's better. I'll be stepping in for beers for this process. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> Let's see what secrets lie in the dark recesses of your memory. 
You're not afraid of the dark, are you? <laughs> We're not done yet. Just a little further. A family home. How charming. Who's the cowering little girl? Your daughter. How interesting. Not the daughter you wanted, though. A defect. Damn it. The same as her mother. I am getting sick of her public meltdowns. Why am I always being called out of work to deal with her, huh? From now on, you deal with her. Deal with her? When do you ever do that? She's your daughter, you jerk. You don't spend any time with her. She's autistic and needs attention from a loving father. You don't even give her the bare minimum. We both know she got it from you. You're the bipolar mess, and you passed it on to our kid. You happy? If I'd have known how messed up you were, I'd have never married you. Joke's on me, I guess. <laughs> Here we go again. Yep, that's all you ever say. Yeah, I know what you think of me. Sorry to ruin your life. All you really need is your money and your secretaries, right? <laughs> Here we go again. Why can't you just be normal? You pretend we don't even exist. Even if you hate me now, Tammy needs you, and all you care about is your stupid work. Tammy could drop dead, and you wouldn't even notice. What kind of man are you? you all I know is, you two are sucking the joy out of my life. Sick of it. I don't need this garbage every single day. Yeah, I know. You don't want to hear it. You just want to hear that nothing is wrong with you, and it's all my fault. Right? They really killed the joy in your life, didn't they? That must have been a terrible burden for you. Not the best family man. Not much of a secret. This is small potatoes. Where's the real meat? When are you going to deal with your wife? Look, I said I'd take care of it. She's an idiot. I will get her out of the picture one way or the other. Just trust me and be patient, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Your daughter is going to hate me though, right? That's going to be really awkward. Does she have to live with us? Uh-uh, Tammy is not the problem. Yeah, she's a messed up kid, but she won't get in the way. See, she's at that age where she doesn't like her mother all that much either. She'll side with me. I hope you're right. I'm getting tired of waiting for you to keep your word. Remember, you promised me. Oh yeah? Well, how's that new car treating you? Just like I promised, right? So. Meet you at eight tonight. At <laughs> least thinks I'm going out of town for a conference for three days. Okay, but don't expect any monkey business in some hotel afterwards. You owe me a nice night out. Till death do you part, eh? So much for wedding vows. I can't say I blame you. They were all upgrades, weren't they? There's no shame in indulging yourself. You only live once. Is that how you see yourself on the inside? 
Must be the narcissism. Nice blood ritual. Did you look that up online? Quite a desperate act. What motivated you to do it? Was it the cancer? Or something else? Something more painful, perhaps? Tell me, Doug. What's really eating away at your soul? Why are you so full of regret? Show me. Ah, there it is. Let's go deeper and take a look, shall we? <laughs> well now, this is more like it. Don't back away, Doug. Come closer. <gasps> What's down there in the water, Doug? A car. Is that them? Is that your family? How tragic. But why would you feel regret for that? You hated them, didn't you? Accidents do happen. You can't blame yourself for that. How unless was it really an accident? Did you have something to do with it? Uh, what did you do? It's time to wake up, Tammy. Your dear father has come all this way to see you. Ah, there she. So disappointed in her girl. Not much to look at. Below average in almost every way. Must have been embarrassing to call such a disappointing girl your daughter. After all, a man as great and accomplished as yourself deserves better. No. Am I wrong? What do you think, Terry? Go give your daddy a big hug. I think he wants to tell you how sorry he is. <laughs> Murderer! <laughs> You're my puppet now, mortal. And I've got a job for you. It's done. Just a little present for Beers. Go ahead and toss him back. Time for Beers to finally pay what is owed. What? You said I could eat him! You heard the boss hangry. Take out the garbage. Ah! Oh, all right. At least I got a bite. What a waste of good rib meat. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> bye bye, Squishy! Yeah. Boss man says you gotta go, so. Adios! There you are. What happened? What did he do to you? How did you escape? You're a bit worse for wear, but you're still alive, and you have the ring piece. Oh, such a relief. I thought you were a goner. That would have made all this for nothing. Capable souls are hard to find, after all. I'd rather not waste my time waiting for another. Yes, that was a compliment. Don't get cocky. Time to feel sorry for yourself. Take a short breather and pull yourself together. The next nightmare awaits and time is running out. Time to feel sorry for yourself. Take a short... <laughs> what the? What's happening? 
the eye. What did you do? Did you miss me, Beers? You idiot! You let him in! Do you realize what you've done? Don't be so hard on the poor boy. I marked his mind. Oh, he resisted. But there was nothing he could do to stop it. You always knew this moment would come. Is that so? I guess I should thank you then. If I finish you off here, getting the rest of the ring pieces will be much easier. Even this fool won't mess that up. How naive! Even now, you really believe you have a chance. You think you can claim me, Malak? I'm not as powerless as I was before. You've always belonged to me, Beers. Nothing will change that. demon to be beaten and at my mercy for a change you think you're so clever and yet somehow I always win beaten by a mere mortal to think I was silly enough to fear you all this time the ring's power is even greater than I imagined <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about <laughs> <laughs> what trickery is this? What's the matter, Beers? Don't lose your confidence so quickly. It doesn't matter how many clones you make. I'll destroy them all. I'm too powerful to stop now, Malak. I've beaten you! <laughs> One more thing, Beers. Do you remember what I said before? I promised I'd be coming, and that I'd be bringing your worst nightmares with me. Well, I always keep my promises. <laughs> <laughs> to see her again. Oh. <coughs> oh, does it hurt, Beersy? Should have stayed out of my room. Oh, not sorry at all, are you? Well, that's okay. An apology isn't going to save you. I'm gonna help Daddy tear you apart. Peace by peace. Necessary. I had to do it. Ah, yes, and it was beautiful work. I enjoyed your little offering. Too bad you refused to know your place. Can I stab her face? Yes, yes. There'll be plenty of time for that. But first, let's get what we came for. Aww. Ah, good. All here. I'll be taking these back now. You filthy demon. Those are mine. He's taking the ring pieces. If you ever want to see them again, get up right now and stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no! Those are mine! This is not over, Malak. I won't let it end this way. Jeez, are you still whining? Shut up and die already! <laughs> you 
think you've won, Mallon. You don't have them all. The one I took from you that day. What? How did you bind that one? I will always have it. Be gone from this place! Demon! You're only delaying the inevitable beats. The outcome has not changed, and the ring pieces are coming with me. I'll be taking your little puppet as well. She can't interfere here. No more lucky breaks, mortal. Fate has finally caught up with you. Time for you to join your family. Permanently. <clears throat> Look around you. Do you even know where you truly are? You mortals have always believed in the existence of heaven and hell. It's a rather quaint and amusing concept. There is a dark dimension. All evil souls eventually gather there and wage war to become the ultimate evil. This place and my realm are a part of it. You've been meddling in my affairs all this time, but I am no ordinary demon. Over countless millennia, I have grown my army and my power with the rivals that I have vanquished and the mortal souls that I have acquired. You could say business has been booming. Beers was one of those souls. She never told you her little story, did she? A century ago, Beers offered her soul to me. She wanted to be a movie star, a trite request, but I agreed nonetheless. I just required a tribute from her first, a small offering. <laughs> I gave Beers what she wanted, but when I came to collect, she decided to get cute. She thought she could get out of her contract by using that accursed ring. However, I didn't become an elite evil by letting my guard down. Her little ambush failed. I shattered the ring and took the pieces, but it wasn't enough. One of the pieces formed a bond with Beerce's soul. She used that to seal herself into that annoying little pocket dimension. As if that cage could keep me out forever. In this place, having your power and ring stolen by mortals is not a good look. You both made me appear weak and vulnerable. That's bad for business. Now it's time to pay the price. That's enough chit-chat. She's ready now. Let's get this execution started, shall we? I'm here. How sweet. You brought a new companion for my babies to play with? Yes, I have. Do they enjoy playing with mortals? Oh, yes. They'll be very excited. Oh, yes. This one looks a bit weak, though. Not very lively. They usually last longer if they have a little fight left in them. Lucky and his gang got a little carried away. Not that it matters, dear Malik. My babies always leave very little behind regardless. <sighs> I've told you not to call me that. You know I hate it. But I like it. This mortal soul will be a bit harder to destroy. His time is not up yet. I assume you can handle it. Take your time and make an example out of him. As you command, dear Malik. Gather him up, my babies, and bring him inside. Put the mortal in the kitchen for now. I have an urgent matter to attend to. Are the ring pieces secure here for now? Of course, dear Malik. They are quite safe here. Any last words? Mark! <laughs> 
No, it's not time yet. I will help you. I will escape. Go back! There's a ring piece close by. This way. It's here somewhere. What? What happened? It seems he escaped. How is that possible? Without the ring pieces, he won't get far. My babies will find him. This mortal has an infuriating talent for finding ring pieces. Now that he's loose, he will try to find them again. What are you going to do about it? The ring pieces are well hidden. He'll never find them. Tell me, did you put one of the ring pieces in your attic? Yes, one of them is in the attic. How did you know? Because he's already there, and he's watching us! I guess I'll deal with him now, then. Good. See that you do. Do not fail me. I want his soul torn apart, and presented to me as a trophy on my desk! Thank you, dear Malik. Leave everything to me. Babies, go and greet our guest. Did you forget that now I see what you see? Did you? I might be away, but I'm still in your head, mortal. You can't hide from me. He's over here! He's over here! Oh, what a cute teddy bear. Why not give it a hug? It's quite fluffy. You're a dead man.
Mama Bear is coming to get you. Nothing scary about that hole. Go on, step inside and you see where it goes. So many tunnels, don't get lost. in the tunnels. Why the rush? Please, stay for dinner. No! Stop him! You can't run forever. Unbelievable. That's <laughs> Imagine if you could. Why not just throw yourself into the pit and get it over? You're upsetting my face. 
hack the shards. How are you still alive? I'm surrounded by incompetence.
caught all the shards, eh? Don't get cocky. There's still no way out for you, mortal.
refuse to die. It's extremely irritating. But I always had your hands, so I'm going to make you an offer. If somehow, despite my best efforts to kill you, you still manage to survive and complete the ring, it would be in your best interest to just hand it over to me anyway. Why? Because I'll match and exceed Beerus's offer. I'll let you go, and I'll give you that new life you want so badly. I'll even make you young and rich, with your wife and daughter exactly as you wish they could be. Everything you ever wanted, for as long as you live. After that, your soul is mine. A small price to pay, given your circumstances. It's a better deal than you'll get from her. I promise you that. Think about it, if you survive. Those are my powers! My power! This is depressing. Mama Bear is coming to get you.
surrounded by incompetence. Those are my powers! Those are my powers! My power! Those are my powers!
got all the shards, eh? Don't get cocky. There's still no way out for you. Are you sure you want to go that way? Bad choice, mortal. There's a ring piece close by. Before I go, with these ring pieces, I can break his hold on you. What? How unexpected. It seems the ring's power is dissolving my marking. Well, it was amusing, but I guess our time together is up. Don't worry. I'll be by to collect your corpse later. You'll never escape this place. <laughs> Looking for this? You've caused enough trouble. I can't let you go any further. You've wrecked my happy home and destroyed many of my precious babies. You will undo everything. Like Bierce, you are an abomination. I can never let you return to her. This place will be your grave.
Alec, forgive me. I thought Malak had taken you for good. And the ring pieces. You got them back. Oh, I could kiss you. Not that I'm going to. Don't get your hopes up. Also, don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm not flesh and blood, remember? No matter what torment Malak inflicts on me, I will heal. He cannot destroy me. He can only enslave me for all eternity. I can see in your eyes that he told you something. Was it about me? Malak told you what I did, didn't he? That I'm trapped here. That I cheated him. Well, so what? He's a demon! I'm not proud of what I did. I lived in an era that was full of cruelty, and I was consumed with my desire for stardom in order to escape it. That desire led me down a dark. Surely you can understand that, right? Malak wants our souls. I just want to get out of here. And I meant what I said when I told you I'd give you a new life. I will have that power. You've seen what I can do with just a few of the ring pieces. Just two more pieces of the ring, and we both get what we want. Glad to have you back. I see you. I'm going to enjoy watching you suffer. 